Hello and welcome back. I thought I might uh, do a quick uh, breakdown on how entrenchment actually works because there seems to be a little bit of confusion regarding exactly uh, how entrenchment works in the game. And <clears throat> we will start by uh, making some attacks to demonstrate uh, using the combat log how uh, entrenchment is used so in this case i have uh, edited this scenario to give this polish infantry five entrenchment it normally starts at zero so you won't see this i will next pick my um, panzer two and these odds if you have played poland north these are far worse odds than usual uh, but uh, okay let's make the attack anyway and let's immediately hit L long. And now, first of all, we have the initiative uh, step or the main stage as it is called. Combat range is called, it's range zero. So the attacker is moving into the defender's hex to kill him. Remember, hex is pretty big, so it's unrealistic to assume that units are standing in the middle or at the edge of a hex shooting at each other. Combat is, uh, is movement. Uh, so the defender is an uh, infantry, so it has three, three uh, base initiative, but it has a plus two bonus from entrenchment. Uh, I'm not sure you even knew that was uh, a thing, but it is for every two points of initiative, uh, sorry, entrenchment, you get a bonus of plus one initiative. And this can, of course, be important because whoever shoots uh, first for every point of difference and 20% of the damage is applied first. So at the 10 entrenchment, which can happen in cities and towns, the defending infantry could have uh, a base initiative of, uh, well, let's say three, and uh, suddenly that would go up to eight. And if this was a city, then the initiative cap would kick in and the tank would have initiative one. So then the defender would uh, actually shoot more than, well, all the, the shots first he wouldn't even need to to have more than uh, six in it. so six entrenchment would be enough to uh, and that that comes very quickly uh, but okay that is the initiative that's uh, that's fairly straightforward it's rounded down, down so three is also plus one initiative five is plus two and so forth uh, but uh, now but the main factor of uh, entrenchment is this accuracy modifier. So you have the base accuracy modifier, and my tank has one star, no, zero stars, so it's just 50, and there is no recon or anything involved. So after that, you get a reduction from entrenchment, and what it does is multiply the number of entrenchment levels, five, by a factor, uh, which uh, in this case is uh, uh, 0.1. So if it had four remaining uh, points of entrenchment, this would be 0.60. And 50 is multiplied by this factor to get the effective accuracy. So in this case, it's halved. So it's an, and if entrenchment was 10, uh, you wouldn't be hitting anything unless you had uh, experience stars, recon or something, but it's a huge reduction in uh, your uh, uh, effective accuracy. And I mean, if you don't hit, there is no chance of uh, actually doing any damage because your kill chance, like we covered in another video, was, is pretty good at 65%. Deflect, suppress, kill. So that's decent, but you will only be hitting about two and a half times and in this case we got uh, a bit lucky so we got three kills zero suppressed now let's just verify this by moving the next one and it actually has a better prediction even though this is exactly the same unit now it attacks again and you can also see that every time you attack unless you have trench slug uh, a normal unit will kill one point of entrenchment. So this has suffered two attacks, so it's down to just three entrenchment. So every attack helps. And it's on the side, but if you have splitting, you can, of course, get more attacks theoretically. 
you could split your strong tanks with high ground defense and just plink away at uh, at entrenchment like that. It won't come up very often, but, but you could do it. You could also <coughs> split your artillery because there is no retaliation and they often have times two or even times three kills and uh, then you would uh, steal away even more entrenchment. But that's not the point here. Now, like I predicted, it's four levels of entrenchment. It's still plus two initiative, but it's just 0 0.60. So now the effective accuracy is 30%. And if I take this tank, it's a 1B, so it has a slightly less firepower. But now the entrenchment is just three. So you can see it's a bigger chance of scoring hits. But since this is a multiplier, you have to remember that it's not plus or minus. It is this base accuracy gets multiplied by this. So 50 times 0.70 is 35. It's not so hard to understand. And if you look back at the log, it starts at 25, goes up to 60, and then 30% and 35. So basically, what happens here is that when your base accuracy is 50, then every attack will, uh, every point of entrenchment will re reduce the um, accuracy by one. So let's restart this scenario just a little bit. Uh, and um, let's start by moving the recon over. Now this gives a plus 10 accuracy bonus, remember? And immediately the, the odds are better. Entrenchment is five here. And we hit log. And now base accuracy is 50 plus 10, 60 times a half, so 30%. And and times 0 0.60, 36%. So that's how it goes. It's not so complicated after all. I salute your now, let's uh, have a quick look at this artillery piece. It has entrenchment killer times two. So if I shoot it, it immediately reduces entrenchment from five to three. And if I also drive my recon over, then already my first tank has improved its odds from 2-2 two, two to 1-4. And if you look at the log, it just gets plus one initiative and a better from the recon and now just three levels, levels of entrenchment. So every little bit helps. We could even send in a bomber first. I could reduce it to two. That's the same initiative. But you can see the prediction steadily improving. Because now there's just two levels, then effective accuracy is 48. Starting to be acceptable. Or we could even go further and make sure we have mass attack times two. Or even mass attack times four. Remember, recons add recon bonus, but not mass attack. So if you look at the log again, base accuracy, bonus from same accuracy, but now the mass attack has reduced the defender's initiative quite a bit. Two times two minus four. So all my shots go in first, That's an, but it does not affect actual accuracy. Okay, let's restart one more time because I want to show you engineers. I salute your impeccable. So let's just take this engineer, walk him over to this piece and it has three entrenchment levels, right? But we know from before it ignores enemy entrenchment. But you can see the parentheses there. Units accuracy is not affected by enemy's entrenchment level. Ah, but what about initiative? Well, let's find out. 
And as you can see, there is some bonus that engineers do not. They do not affect defenders' initiative bonus from entrenchment. So if you want to send your pioneers into a city against a 10-10 entrenched uh, unit, it will get plus five initiative. So even though the pioneer has good close defense, and even though it may be high experience, I have a lot of star high accuracy, maybe it's 90 accuracy. But if you're attacking a 20 strength uh, Soviet uh, SMG or guard uh, infantry in uh, Stalingrad, uh, it will basically shoot all its shots first and do a horrible amount of uh, of damage. So that's one reason why you might want to throw in some uh, artillery fire and not just throw your engineers right at the defender with high uh, high uh, entrenchment. So, and while we're at it, we could now we moved over and remember that engineers. They also ignore 50% of enemy entrenchment. So, I will attack. And then I will check the log. And in this case, it's the poles that shoot first. And we are down here. But if you are a very astute observer, you realize that the numbers don't add up. They really don't add up. And why is that? This one was entrenchment 3 when we attacked it. So you would expect this multiplier to be 0 0.70. But it is not 0 0.70. Because first of all, the engineer has kicked in. And secondly, Infantry does not follow the same rule as other units. They ignore a little bit of uh, entrenchment on their own. I will try to explain in more detail. I would step back so the engineer is not a part of the equation. And we will walk this guy over. And we will attack. 3-5. And we will hit the log. And it shoot first, of course, because it has a such high initiative, 10 or something. And now, it should be, three entrenchment levels should be 0 0.70. But it is 0 0.76. And that is because the penalty factor for infantry is slightly lower. It's not 0 0.1, it's 0 0.08. Do you understand that? Yes? So, what is this copy? Oh, I've never noticed. So basically, infantry tanks are a little worse at ignoring uh, entrenchment than our infantry. So if we undo that attack again, and we move the engineer over, first of all, the engineer ignores the entire accuracy penalty, so that's not so interesting. But this is interesting, because if what I said was true, then it should be 0 0.88, because half of 0 0.08 is 0 0.04 times 3 entrenchment level, and we get this. Yes, that was a lot of maths, but that's uh, how it works. Ah, but we are not finished yet. I have already shot that uh, this infantry with my artillery one more time before, but Entrenchment works against uh, ranged attack as well. Let us watch. Okay, it kills two points of entrenchment, but what about the accuracy? Well, it cannot retaliate. And here the accuracy penalty, it should be 0 0.50, but it is 0 0.80. And that is because the range penalty is half again that of uh, the uh, Infantry, so it's 0 0.04. So basically the same as infantry attacking with an adjacent engineer. So artillery is the least affected by, uh, by entrenchment. And uh, tanks and other things are the most. 
so artillery, infantry, and other units. Let's look at this uh, aircraft. No retaliation, three levels and 0 0.70. So also from this, you can probably surmise that it is better to use artillery first, then follow up with an airstrike because most artillery are not so very heavily affected by entrenchment and most artillery also remove two or even three points of entrenchment. That maybe it's a simplification, but uh, mostly is it true. So to combine all that we have uh, learned there, we could uh, just make some quick pointers. Uh, you would start by driving this recon car over to this infantry then you would shell it to reduce its entrenchment with the weapon that is least affected by entrenchment then you would follow up with this stuka and both the artillery and the stuka have received recon bonuses and then if you want to minimize the penalty from entrenchment this is still 2-5 then you would march over your infantry and attack. But of course, infantry has lower ground defense than these tanks, so it actually makes more sense to attack with tanks. It is slightly more affected by entrenchment, but overall it comes up better. So, there you are. Entrenchment explained in some detail without overburdening you guys too much, I hope. Okay, bye.